Yo, what's good everybody? It's one and only Punishing Night Game. Come back to you again. And this time we're in Warzone 2.0. Before I get into everything, salute to my new subscribers. Appreciate the love and support. I'll show my last live stream. And also, my return subscribers got flux on them real quick. Getting into this. What in the fuck is this game mode? Like, all they had to do was take from what they did in Warzone 1 and expand upon it and make it better. Here, mm -mm -mm. the map is big as fuck. Yeah, there's like 100 so 50 whatever players. But it just feels open, barren. Like, not much is going on. Hell, I barely heard any gunshots, if any. And I had niggas landing near me. Like, what the fuck, man? I was getting excited and hopeful that, you know, Warzone will take me away from the bullshit of multiplayer. But no. I just deal with more fucking campers. It's just to give them a lot more space to roam around, and the looting is trash. Like, I literally had to go over the thing I want to pick up and push and hold square. I'm gonna need to fix the setting to where I need to just tap it in order to get the items, because I'm not trying to be pushing and holding and shit when there could be a nigga nearby, duck, crab walking next to me, and I will never know until we start busting that the motherfucker was there because I'm too busy trying to loot. Like, why do you have to make the looting system so goddamn stupid? And like, that's not even the first thing I want to complain about. First thing I want to complain about is why in the hell do we have backpacks again? Like in Blackout. Nobody wants to be fucking scrummaging around a backpack. How can we keep what we had? Now we gotta be rummaging around niggas fucking briefcase and shit and like it takes like two three fucking minutes just to get the items that you want out the shit and into your backpack and then you know you gotta scrounge around for more backpacks just to make sure you got enough of, like a big enough backpack in order to do shit and why we still can't rock climb why do I gotta deal with the bullshit of Warzone 1 when this this engine is way better than the last one. It's like, what the fuck? These niggas are fucking military trained. They should not be having difficulties going up rocks. Like, what the fuck, Infinity Wars? I thought y'all niggas would learn by now. On how to, like, create physics to a point where it makes sense that one motherfucker can climb up a rock. The, the, the rocks aren't even that steep. But nope, you just can't climb it. You gotta go around to where it's just like a smooth edge. I'm like, my god, these niggas, man. These niggas do not know how to make a game save their fucking life. Three years. 3,000 deaths? Nigga, please. Somebody's lying. I do like that that you have the opportunity to, like, there's a situation where. Your car has a gas tank and it's like your gas runs out over time and you have to refill it either by you know, gas you know by the little container thing or you know go to the gas station look at this goofy bitch right here I see this motherfucker shooting at me Gout car break his shit and then he just go limps his ass into a corner to go hide in and then I see this motherfucker right here I don't think I'm shooting at you know, bots or trying to fight me. But I'm like, wait, this ain't DMZ. So I think he's just sitting there for some reason. I gunned him down. Then I know the other dude's still over there. So I'm gonna go check up on him real quick. But this is the one thing I did stupid. I already put down the port of radar. I know he's there. But I'm thinking he's just like getting found a way to get somewhere else. But nope. Lo and behold, the bitch is just camping inside this little area over here. I'm like, how the fuck did he even get over there? I didn't drop in with a fucking, uh, self-revive. So I'm like, how the hell you got a time to get a self-revive? Where did she even find one? But that's not even 
gist of it. This stupid shit right here. Why in the fuck did they add the gulag? But it's a 2v2 gulag. And if me and this random person can't get it done to kill the, the enemy team, we got to deal with a fucking juggernaut. Who's the warden? Like, what the hell? You won't have to worry about the juggernaut right now. Because I took care of took care of business and killed both of these dudes. Because my teammate was Bonds. He couldn't get the job done. Not surprising. <laughs> that pistol worked, though. Look at my teammate. Getting gunned the fuck down over here. I threw the grenade. Smart you play. Bam, bitch. Get fucked. Punish him, I just tell. You ain't shit. But anyways, getting around to the end of this video, because I thought I recorded the, the, what happened after I landed and was looting around. Well, looting for like five minutes, because I couldn't find shit. It's just like, this map is so fucking big for nothing. But I'm going to give it more time and try to get an idea of what the hell's going on here. And like, you know, just cut out the boring parts. But mostly, I just died. Like not too long after I landed here and just like was looting around for a while it's just man look at the, the fucking texturing it doesn't, wasn't even loaded in for about fucking 10 seconds like these motherfuckers are stupid man I'm gonna give this shit a little bit more opportunity cause I'm just like the multiplayer it's ass but the crazy thing is about this when you're trying to find uh points of interest like well miniature points of interest like uh the shop um a bounty whatever whatever you won't know which floor it's on they don't tell you you guys gotta be looking around mindlessly looking around but anyway it's as much love to y'all it's the one and only punish tonight game signing out stay safe stay smart stay positive and fuck this goddamn shit <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.